get to start out my morning the way I start out most of my mornings. Digging a hole to bury our biodegradable poop bag. <sighs> Responsible overlanding. That ought to do it. Gotta wash my hands and get some coffee. After enjoying our breakfast and making use of my newly dug hole, we leave our campground in Sand Flats and rejoin the Great Western Trail along Fire Road 354. This trail will take us out of Prescott National Forest into Kaibab National Forest and another day closer to Utah. Let's go! Other than being a part of the Great Western Trail, I could not find any other designation for Fire Road 354. Now, as far as the section we're about to travel, I would rate it moderate. It starts out simply enough, but it's not long before we come across loose rocks on the side of a mountain. You're probably going to want four-wheel drive, you're going to need high clearance, and you're definitely going to want to pay attention. Instead of KOA to do some grocery shopping, get some water, wash some laundry, and replace the shocks on packs. Replacing these rough countries that simply weren't cutting it on the trail with these Ranchero RS9000 XL adjustable shocks. And I've already played with them a little bit, and these release a lot slower, which I'm hoping helps mitigate a lot of my uh, seaworthiness. <laughs> so I've actually done all three tires so far except for this one and uh, we'll find out tomorrow if it was worth the money.
I've got the rear Rancho set to seven, uh, just because that's where all the weight is. And I've got the fronts at five, which is the default factory setting. So far, it definitely seems like a stiffer ride. We'll know when we actually get into some real trail how much swaying I do. I suspect we'll reach the Utah border either Thursday or Friday. It's Tuesday now. So three, three and a half days, something like that, depending on what the trail looks like. But we're going to make it this time. Rancho 9000 XLs are amazing. So right now I have the front shocks down to a three and the back shocks at a five because of the weight in the back. Guys, you get some freaking rock. How did that feel? Oh, it feels amazing. It's not jarring. It's not rocking me like a ship at sea. It's fantastic. So if you want inexpensive, good shocks for all four, it cost me five and some change, which is about half the price of the icons that I have on the crush and those icons aren't adjustable now. The icons are definitely going to last longer. If you're looking for not an expensive shock that fantastic off-road so far, the Ranchos are great. We'll see when I'm done putting them through my third paces just how long they last. But brand new out of the box, they're amazing. Leaving the Williams KOA, we followed the various county roads and forest roads that make up the Great Western Trail. This was one of the easiest sections of trail we had followed so far. Nothing a stock SUV can't handle. We did come across a few pretty sandy spots, so just for those areas, you might want to air down just a little bit. <laughs> that dusted off something fierce. Woo. just shy of the Grand Canyon at the Grand View Lookout Tower Trailhead. There's actually a Lookout Tower. I think we can go up. We're going to read some stuff and see. And then we're going to see how far my legs let me go up that thing. Because I kind of want to do it. I'm going to see how far my parents let me go up that Sammy, we doing this? Yeah. All right, come on. Let's uh, <laughs> let's see how far we can get up this thing. I know Mama's not coming. I don't think Anna's coming either. Let's see. We're gonna see. Yeah, we'll see how far up I decide is far enough. <laughs> Anna's gonna come until she until she's got us as far as you're going. <laughs> I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go. It's getting kind of windy up here. Whew. We're about halfway. I forgot about the double record. Hang on. I had to take my hat off because I was afraid I was going to lose it. We are at the top. Well, as far as we can go, it's locked. It can't go in the tower itself. But, uh, it's quite the view. Oh, my legs are a little weak. I'm not going to lie. the climb very neat very neat uh, so we are basically at the Grand Canyon oh, we got some trail left before we're gonna end up hitting blacktop because of the, all the COVID restrictions so the reservation that is actually would be off-road areas um, is well you can't do it you can't go off-road in those areas as far as I understand it 
And I believe the Great Western Trail is actually on the blacktop at that point anyway. So right now we're going to start looking for a place to camp for this evening. Tomorrow night we should be at uh, Vermilion Cliffs, which would be really cool. But tonight, see if we can find a cool spot to camp. I look so confused. There it goes. that we plan on replacing the Smitty Built Overlander rooftop tent. Missing. And on the other side, this one is missing. It's just vibrating apart. And I gotta tighten these up too. So eventually I'm gonna figure out how to fix that. I think it'll make do for the rest of this trip though. I'll just have to keep an eye on it. It has a good starter tent, but I think we're just too rough for it. Anyway, let me finish tightening the stuff up so we can get the tent set up. We're exploring the area around the campsite, trying to catch up with my wife and my youngest. Let's do that. So I'll pull in here, you pull in over there. Everybody watching on YouTube at home will think you just pulled in. <laughs>